I wanted to share with you a blessing that the Lord was trying to get through to me this morning. I've titled this, How Much is in Our Faith Bank Account? And I think that's what the Lord was asking me. And it encouraged me, and I felt like I just wanted to share. If it can just encourage one out there, we're in this together, is what the world says. Well, we know we're not. We're in this as the remnant, as the brothers and sisters in the Lord. We are in Jesus Christ together. So I hope that this encourages those, anyone out there that um, is pondering and um, seeing the things that the Lord might be asking of us. I pondered on saying might because he, it takes faith. He will be requiring faith out of us. It, that's what the requirement is from our Father. And um, I was reading today in Micah chapter 5, and um, read it yourself, but um, to, it, it, to me it was like it was saying about the remnant, you know, not trusting in this world. We know that. We don't trust in chariots. We don't trust in the horses, but our trust is in God. Now, we say that, and when I say we, I've got the fingers pointing at me. That's that's where this came from was because of what the Lord is trying to help me with. I want, when I stand before Jesus, I want him to say to me, Cindy, you believed well. <laughs> That's what I want him to say. I want to believe whatever he says that he will do it. I don't want to doubt. Now see, we have a, a bank account of faith. It's not of this world. It's the Father's. Now in comparison, we have our worldly bank accounts. It all consists of limitedness from this world, from creation is where it has to come from, limited. That comes through jobs. It comes through um, the buying, the selling, to be able to exist in this world. Our livelihood from this world. Whether it's our clothing, our food, it is from this world. We can name the places, our resources, as to where we get those things from. Now see, what God wants us to do is up our faith. See, God's resources are limitless. They are not of this world. That is why he has given us the word of God, showing us over and over and over. Whether it be go and Peter and go and open up a fish's mouth and you will see the coin for you and for me to pay the taxes. See, that wasn't of this world, but Peter had to go obey and do it. God's treasure is unlimited, but it takes faith to draw from his account. We have such a good father that we can ask him, I need more, father. I need more faith. Over and over, we see how the disciples would say and ask Jesus, increase our faith. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a good thing. It's actually taking faith to ask that. So it's a good thing. Jesus looks for faith. How many times in the word that Jesus said he saw their faith? 
Here in Mark 2, when Jesus saw their faith, Mark 2, 5, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Over and over, Jesus looks for those with faith. Do you know the ones that he says has great faith? Is like the times when they said, you don't even need to come to my home to lay your hands. You don't even need to do anything in this realm. I believe just because you are Jesus, just by you saying it, it will be. See, that's great faith. They believed without seeing. That's the kind of faith I want to have. That is not of this world. It is supernatural. How much is in our faith bank account? See, we can go to our bank accounts of this world and see a, mon a money number. And that's limited. But see, when we tap in to the supernatural, bypass the thinking of this realm, the limitlessness, then we are unlimited as to the resources. But see, what our battle is, is right here. We ponder and we think. We try to rationalize. Jesus understands that, but we can't let it be the hiccup to us. Because then he says, oh, ye of little faith. Jesus is right there, Matthew 8, Mark 4, Luke 8, more than that. But Jesus is right there in the ship with them. And the storm is raging. And they are panicking. It's a real storm. But yet, the Savior that they have seen perform miracles just make food come out from nowhere. They are panicked and then accuse Jesus, don't you care about us? And Jesus rebukes them and says, ye have little faith. Why don't you believe? Well, see, we're the same way. In hindsight, we look at them and go, oh, those disciples, why didn't they learn? Well, see, it's the same with us. In our boat right now, where we're at, the faith walk that we have, whatever is before us, Jesus is in the boat with us. But are we going to believe? What should the disciples have done? What would have pleased Jesus at that moment? He was asleep. The storm was raging. Would it have been, Master? We know that you are the master of this storm. Calm my fear. And until you do, I'm just going to sit here and fix my eyes on you. Because I don't have the control over this. But I'm in the boat with the one who does. See, it's easy for us to see in hindsight. But see, Jesus is requiring that of us. And I know I need more faith. And I want more faith. Just like when we were kids. If we needed something... Mom, Dad, can I have some money to do this or that? Well, how much more? The Heavenly Father, when we are asking for faith to walk triumphantly over the obstacles in this life, to give Him glory, would the Father give us freely faith to believe? See, just as the world trusts in money, trusts in 
jobs. Those things provide for existence. It's limited as to what it can give. If we trust in God, He parts the way and then He provides those things in a supernatural way as we trust Him. What I mean by that is, now I'm not saying to do this on a cliff, but I'm using this as an example of a walk of faith. See, so many times we want it tested first so that when we take our step of faith out there, we are, are for sure, we can feel the ground under our feet. Well, see, if we can feel the ground under our feet, it isn't going to take faith. It's like that thing, the trial that, you know, how when you stand and, and, so, and you trust that somebody's going to catch you when you fall back. It's the same, a little bit of an idea. But see, we're talking with our life. That whether he saves me, whether he doesn't, I am going to trust him. Like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. If we burn in this fire, we burn. But we're not bowing to the God of this world. We're going to serve our Creator God. If He delivers us, He delivers us. But we won't bow. See, as we take that step of faith, faith is believing without seeing. Now, what is neat is that God gives us his word. I wished I would have brought out my journal that had this. I drew it years ago. If you can picture a cliff here and a cliff here, and this is the point of where we get born again. Well, to get born again, you really have taken a step of faith. You have stepped out into the supernatural because it's not of anything of man and you stepped out well see you didn't see you hoped that Jesus was going to catch you when you repented of your sin and he did you got born again so see we are walking on this faith over to this point which is heaven okay are you are you with me and if you can picture the word of God as we get filled up on the word with promises that Jesus gives us, that by faith we are receiving and believing, it adds strength to our walk across this unseen bridge. But the bridge is literally God's hand caressing us. Faith is the requirement that the Father has given us and we don't even have that without asking him for it he gives us a measure of faith each and every person every soul what are we going to do with it I want and I need mine increased I need my faith bank account overflowing to believe whatever the father requires of me asks of me the remnant is going to be required to believe more than ever but the father will give it to us all we have to do is ask he does not sit back and say kids let me see you do it he is right there coaching right there cheering right there providing and parting the way but we have to believe we have to believe when Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. God has everything for us. And his bank account, his treasury, takes faith to draw from. Lord, give us faith. Help us, Lord. I thank you that your word is treasure your word is 
is everything we need. It is the light unto our path, the lamp unto our path, the light unto our path. Father, help us to trust you more and more. May our bank account of faith be overflowing because of our trust in you, the unseen hand that we know is there, guiding and parting the way. And Father, forgive our unbelief. Forgive us. And Father, we know that you know the frailty of us. And you will make up the difference. That is you. You are mighty and you are true. God bless each and every one that will be watching this. Increase our faith in you. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. God bless each and every one of you.